it is something. Hi there, Anas Coding here and today we are going to talk about a very important topic. Objective C or Swift, square brackets or exclamation marks. If you are just a beginner, then it transforms for you into a question which programming language do I need to run first? If you are an experienced Objective-C developer with a handful of apps in your CV, then it is transforms into do I really need to learn this fancy new thing? I vote for Swift. I will try to prove my point and in the end I will defend Objective-C a little bit and I will give some hope for those who don't want to learn Swift. Swift was introduced in 2014, which makes it one of the youngest programming languages at the moment. After one year we saw Swift 2 and now we have 2.1 in alpha. Apple said that Swift will be open source and it can be used in Linux, so it is aggressively evolving. I really don't want to make stupid comparisons of these two languages, but let's check some sources of information. Let's start from Google Trends. My search available by the link that you may find in the description. As you can see, for now, it is November 2015, Swift already twice as trending as Objective-C. It is actually more popular since September 2014. But let's move along. GitHub. It is actually doesn't tell us something useful by itself, since Objective-C and Swift not in the list in 2015. Uh, but Red Monk has this chart. And we can see that Swift is just a few languages behind Objective-C. Already. Now let's check Stack Overflow. My query is available for everyone, you can find the link in the description. Swift wins here as well. It has more questions in 2015 than Objective-C. Actually, I will stop here. I saw some results from Job Structor, for example, but it is from 2014 and it is not so relevant right now. By the way, Objective-C was second most wanted language, after Java. Some other sources does not include Swift, so this is some kind of results as well. But let's be honest, I have like dozen of my favorite blogs that focused on iOS development and there is little or no Objective-C already. It is also obvious that Apple will focus its resources only on one language. They don't need two languages at the same time at one platform. So I don't think that uh, Objective-C will be really, you know, updated and fully supported in the future. Yeah, but they, you know, support Objective-C as well. There is optionals, but COBOL is still in support as well. But probably this popularity doesn't matter at all, you know, there is plenty of old programming languages that still in use because they have their niches. But actually I want to point the, for another reason and it is Apple, you know. Uh, I remember when there was iOS 8 release, Apple says that it will be obligation for new and, uh, you know, updated apps to support 64 bits architecture. And now in iOS 9, they have this support for IPv6 as well. So probably it could be that on WWDC 2016, they said that we won't support Objective-C from now. It is a possibility, of course. So now I will try to defend Objective-C a little bit. It will be around in the next five years or maybe a decade. There is tons of legacy code that already works, tested and documented, and nobody will invest in refactoring it. Next point is not that obvious from the first side, it is C++ relation. As you can see in this chart, Objective-C++ is somewhere in the end of the list, but it is possibly not that accurate. I don't know how they count. But personally, I was working with few projects written in Objective-C++, but they were marked as pure Objective-C on GitHub. I really don't know how they separate these languages. Since C++ is one of the most popular languages and it is often used as cross-platform part of the app, there will be a chance that C++ will be used in your project. And here comes Objective-C. You know, Swift simply doesn't work with C++ and you need to wrap everything with Objective-C and then include this into Swift. So this niche will be available for a long time, I think. But it is not so wide. As a conclusion, it is great to know Objective-C. It will help you a lot in your job and it will be nice line to have in CV. Or you can happily work in some niches like Objective-C++. If you are a newcomer, consider learning Objective-C. 
there is tons of materials, tutorials and blogs. For experienced software engineers, if you want to remain competitive iOS or macOS or watchOS developer, it seems not possible without knowing Swift anymore. It is purely pragmatic opinion and I really would like to hear something from you. See you in the comment section of this video. Really? No jokes about Tyler Swift?